this isn't a breakdown where anything crazy happens. There's no brawl. There's no crazy lip reading. It's just baseball talk. It's in that bat featuring my buddy Ian Happ, member of John Boy Media versus Jake Cousins. It's brought to you by DraftKings. Now, Jake Cousins for the Brewers throws his slider 61% of the time. That's what he did last year. That's the info people have on him. And you'll see the Contreras throws a slider there for a ball. The next pitch throws a slider again for a ball. Then he's going to throw this slider. That's for a strike. He's going to go to the two-seam fastball, and he hits him. Contreras doesn't like it. He didn't like it. He wanted to throw a strike. Now Happer's up, who's having himself a great opening day. Bottom seventh. Runners on the corners. Tie game. Go ahead, run at third. He wants to do damage. He wants to see his pitch. The first pitch, I think it's supposed to be like a back foot slider. I really don't know because the catcher sets up outside, and then it just sweeps all the way across. So I don't really actually know the goal there, but it's a slider, and it's a ball. And I think they say, you know what? Let's try out the fastball again. So they do. It's a sinker, two-seamer. It's got arm side run, and he gets the called strike. And it's actually, if he was trying to do that, it's a really nice pitch, but I don't think he loves what happened on that. Neither does Hap, because Hap thinks that's a ball low. Here's the two pitches overlaid to show you the effect they have on a hitter. That big cross action. Uh, Bam, and then they just dart their own way. That's the effect the two of those are supposed to happen. He doesn't throw the two-seamer enough for that to really happen. I think people just sit slider. Now, Hap hasn't swung at the first two pitches. He's going to go back to the slider, and he's going to try to get him to swing over it again. It doesn't. It's just another ball. Now he goes back to the slider, but he tries to backdoor it. Really wants that call. The ump wants that call. So instead of attacking the back foot, he says, all right, This dude's not going to swing until I throw a strike. Seems that way. So he says, I'm going to try and sneak a strike out of this and backdoor it, and that's supposed to fall back in. It never does. I don't know why they want the the call. Well, I do. Everyone wants calls always. So now it's three and one. You don't want to walk hap. You got to throw a strike here. You got to throw whatever pitch you think you can throw a strike with. For him... It's the slider. So now Hap hasn't swung at a single pitch, and now it's full count. And Hap's thinking, okay, I haven't swung. This guy throws a slider 61% of the time. He's thrown all sliders. He just threw a slider 3-1 where he needed to throw a strike, so he's probably going to throw that same exact slider 3-2 because he still needs to throw a strike, and I guess that's his most trusted pitch. So I'll just sit on that slider, I think. And Jake Cousins is hoping he doesn't sit on the, oh, shit, sat on the slider. Popped it out. Did it go out? No, it's Wrigley in April. It's a double, but two-run score. Little claps from Happer on second base. Crowd's going wild. They're going to beat the Brewers in opening day, and Jake Cousins is thinking, shit. I think maybe I'm throwing too many sliders. And Hap says, yeah, yeah, man, too many sliders. Because, look, these are the 3-1 pitch and the 3-2 pitch. It's the same pitch. And once you throw 3-1... You're usually going to throw 3-2, but that's not even a backdoor slider. That's just like a get-me-over slider, basically. Hap takes care of it. Go, Hap, go. And this one was brought to you by our good friends at DraftKings. I'm so glad baseball's back, and I'm glad to have them sponsoring the breakdowns.